we're matching yeah. and we're making strawberry rhubarb freezer jam because it's fun it's delicious it's easy and there's no special equipment required you can do it with stuff that's around your house and way less sugar than normal jam way less so let's get going you are going to mix the freezer jam pectin it has to be freezer jam if you're going to make this no cook because it's no cook you can make it with your little ones because then they don't get burnt mm -hmm. <laughs> we're adding the the freezer jam pectin and then the sugar we're using one and a half cups of sugar to about four cups of squished fruit and i'm going to go ahead and start squishing the fruit and notice the household everyday equipment we're just using the potato masher to mash the fruit we're adding some <laughs> rhubarb to our strawberry rhubarb freezer jam <laughs> and it's stewed rhubarb so it's already a little bit soft you should have about four cups of crushed fruit i'm going to use that okay. another alternative you could also use the fork notice how we're using a nice flat uh, dish rather than a deep bowl it's just so much easier for the mashing you like it like that it's mm -hmm. a little chunky I like the chunkies. <laughs> okay, then that's where we'll stop. So you can make this however chunky or uh, pureed you'd, you'd like. Although I wouldn't recommend totally pureed because then it'll be just too liquidy. So we're going to leave it at that. Add our pectin mix. You just go ahead and mix it in. So stirring and pouring in the, the powder. So nice, good. We want to stir this for three minutes. It's thickening up. It's thickening up already. This is it. This was this was ma us making jam. It's just squishing fruit, adding the pectin and sugar, stirring, and then putting it in jars. So quick and easy. You can use whatever kind of jars you have at home. This is a plastic uh, jar, so you can use that. This is a recycled jam jar, and then these are official canning jars which you don't need, but if you have them lying around, you might as well use them. So we're going to pour it into the measuring cup and then pour it into our jars just to keep things nice and clean. Wow. Wow. That was so easy. So easy. <laughs> Store in the refrigerator for three weeks or put in the freezer for long-term storage. We've given lots of headspace, so they'll be great in the freezer. Really a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> See how much fun it is? You too can have this. <laughs>